In this video, I want to teach you how to help a dog understand that excitement is not always the ideal way of being welcome in the house. You know, super special day. We have a baby coming, meaning the baby's still in the stomach. We have a Melvin Gregg, uh, a special guest, and uh, his fiance Bobby. And they're having some problems with their pits. Uh, not necessarily with pit bull breed, but you know, where they have two pits, but they're excited. And since they're expecting, I think it's very important for Bobby to learn how to claim space, how to use the right energy. Why no touch, no talk, no eye contact is so important. When you have an excited dog, no matter what it is, Pitbull, Rottweiler, whatever it is, this is when, when you know when I, when, I, when I say no touch, no talk, no eye contact? It's not that you're ignoring the breed, the dog, uh, the name, the gender. What you're ignoring is the state of mind. You follow what I mean? So most people pay attention to it. And they start saying, no, stop, sit down. So that actually intensifies. Mm. So it's, it's literally how in a relationship, when you don't like what he's doing, you ignore him. See, and he, so you do it from within, that's why it works. Right. You see what I'm saying? So most dog people, mm. most dog people don't do it from within. So that's why the dog never gets it. Get it? Right. But, but in the human world, people do it from within. That's what you get, you, you get your point across. Okay. Yeah, so you make it not emotional, you make it what it is, right? So that's right. how you set your rules, your boundaries, your limitations. So then, then you, you, uh, you claim your space, you claim your, uh, uh, your point of view. You said you made it clear. So with dogs, it's the same. But in the dog world, it's much easier because yeah. they don't think. They just react. Mm -hmm. So every time you guys come in and reunite, uh, if you learn to practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact, that's, that's going to allow them to practice relaxation. So they're going to smell you, see you, relax, give you space. Right. So that becomes the ritual. Oh. So most dog people go, hi! Hey! You see it? So at the moment you do, hi, hey! you're going to create an excited um, canine society. It's the misunderstanding the excitement is priority. And I say excitement is after you achieve trust, respect. Right. So no more. She come in the house. Riley, <laughs> Joe, my flacker. Right, 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 yeah, right, 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 right. None of that, right? No, no because yeah. then you are telling your dogs to greet humans in an excited way. Mm. So you are the window or the door to society. Right. You know what I mean? People teach dogs to be excited, when, especially when they meet. And the meeting is what you do more often. You understand? So you feed once a day or twice a day, but you meet throughout the day. So if you go away and come back, that's a meeting. So you can go for five seconds or five minutes or five days. Every time you come back, that's a meeting. So every time you come back, you have to reunite and, and represent calm, confident energy. That's what call, that's what's called leadership. So you have to claim your leadership first, and then you can be a, their friend. And then you can be their mom. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Because this is what most people do. Hi, my God, baby! Oh, my God! Oh, la, la. Oh, la. Stop! And then they go, stop, 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 sit, wait, wait, stop, oh, my God! <laughs> so you're contradicting, you're contradicting the ritual. Because to them, that's a, that's a ritual. So if your dogs learn to greet you like that, they're gonna greet all humans like that, including little humans. And then they're gonna say, well, we do this with human. I'm gonna do this with dogs too, and with cats, and with, and with, and with chickens. And so it becomes really difficult for a dog to socialize with other species or with their own kind, because in their world, that kind of approach is disrespect. But again, the most important part is the greeting. Yeah, but I would be the one working on that more so than him. Yeah, I come through chill. I feel bad she, when he just like ignores her. And I'm like, say hi to her. Yeah, she, I'm glad you were here to eat it. But remember, to a dog, you don't wanna, you don't wanna uh, uh, communicate yeah. as if they're humans. So if you do more cuddle and less leading, mm -hmm. and then it becomes out of balance because mm -hmm. they don't listen to you when you want them to listen to you. Because right. you represent friendship, affection, 
even <laughs> if you feed them, that doesn't give you leadership. Mm -hmm. What gives you leadership is for you to give them a job and then you pay them with food. Mm. You see, they work for the food. What you really want to control is the instincts. You see it? So if you control the instincts, you control the species. If you control the species, you control the breed. Mm. Animal, dog, breed, name. You get it? So what you're doing right now is you're going name, pitbull, human. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yeah. So you change the identity of the, of the species. Mm. You know she's a pit. Mm -hmm. You know what her name is. But the way you relate to her is as she was a human. Right. <laughs> I just love her so much. <laughs> love is not the problem. But you're doing it backwards. Right. You see what I mean? You just want to prioritize affection without rules, boundaries, limitations. Mm -hmm. Without exercise. So exercise, discipline, affection. Mm -hmm. Right now you're doing affection, affection, affection. So my goal to teach Bobby how to clean the space, how to practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact, how to visualize, how to have a dog that gives distance, at least in the personal space. That means respect, a dog that can calmly wait for you to come back. You want to practice that again? Yeah, come in here. Yeah. So, um, what do you do? What do you do besides loving the dog so much? What do you do for a living? What is, what is um, your... I'm a seamstress. Seamstress, so okay. Sometimes I work from home, sometimes I work um, away from home. Where, what areas do you have to practice leadership? No, 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 you're, and forget about the dogs. Right now with the dog, you're in the back of the pack. Right, right. You see it? So I have to bring in the front of the pack. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, um, the people, that, they, are, they practice leadership in other areas. Mm -hmm. So, okay, fine. I just want you to bring that energy home. Right. You get it? Yeah. Just like what you say, well, she's very gentle with the rabbit. There you go. Why she's not gentle with you? Mm -hmm. So that means she has it. So, you know what I mean? So I, I always make sure that I bring the energies that I'm asking for people uh, to do it with their dogs because they're already doing it. They're just not doing it with their dogs. Right. You know what I mean? So when you see parents and the kids is misbehaving and you say, the only reason why the kid is misbehaving is because the parents are letting them. Mm -hmm. Right? And, yeah. the, and then you say, well, and then you see that person, the same person giving direction to other people. Wait a minute, if you can actually control a grown human, it's your child. Right. See how it makes sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm just bringing things that is already there. Right. You're just not bringing it home. Right. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've Oof. been home a lot recently because I've been pregnant. Yeah. So I've been spending most of my time at the house, but I don't know. I mean, I think that I just am way too affectionate with her. Like, I, I definitely get her very excited, what she doesn't like. So as soon as I come through the door, even when she wakes up in the morning, I'm like, Riley John, and I brush her teeth, and I wash her face. And so you play dolls. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. You're doing the Barbie thing. Mm. Yeah. So you're ready to be a mom, obviously. I guess so. You see what I'm saying? So you're, so you are do, you're using this mm -hmm. uh, uh, species mm -hmm. to fulfill biological, emotional things. You're ready. Mm -hmm. You mean a great mom. It's just, even with, your, with a human uh, 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 baby, you're going to have to set rules by limitations. Right. You're going to have to create structure. You're going to have to give them exercise. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to give them, you know, rules by limitations. Right. You're going to have to reward the right state of mind. So if you think about it, exercise, discipline, affection, body, mind, heart, mm -hmm. is also applicable to humans. If you want to have a, a well-behaved human. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't mean that human is, uh, people are going to be able to manipulate. No, no, no. That means that human knows how to attract the right energy mm -hmm. and how to be with the right pack. Right. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? If that human generates negative energy, he's going to attract that pack. Right. If that human generates positive energy, he's going to attract that pack. Oh, let me see how you open the door. See, you got to squeeze through the door. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's how I did it when I jumped the border. I squeezed <laughs> through it. So they don't open the door. So you have, look, look, so. Hold on. So you have to be able to, you have to be able to open a, without her trying to push you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're negotiating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your belly is going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. On the babies, or you gonna, you know what I mean? As right. you're not gonna, so you have to be able to pretty much open, ask for calmness, so you can. Mm. Right. 
You see it? I don't never met your dog, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm controlling the excitement at the door. So and then repetitions of that, she said, oh, every time that human touches the door, he wants me to be calm in front of the door. Right. Then he opens the door, sometimes he invites me, invites me out, sometimes he doesn't. Mm -hmm. So door open doesn't mean I'm going out. Right. So they have to see that the meaning of the door closed and the door opens is the same. That's why dogs can run out of the door because they, they learn to believe the door open means run. Now you're coming in, okay. no touch, no talk, no eye contact. And one question, when I come in, <laughs> can I protect my stomach? To protect your whole aura. Okay, because she will try to jump. Yeah, yeah, so you protect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like Star Wars. Right. Yeah. Shh, shh. There you go. That's right. That's it. Shh. That's all you're saying, like, slow down, give me space. Mm -hmm. So when I do give her any kind of contact, it could be a quick... Yeah, it could be any sound, mm -hmm. or it can be this, mm -hmm. you know? So let's say you're mute and you can't, you can still do this. Mm -hmm. You can tell people from a distance without saying a word. Right. So that's why I said, you know, Star Wars, like the Force, it, it's, it's really not about using the sound, because if you don't mean it, it doesn't have any power. Mm -hmm. So you can be just quiet, and just telling people don't come near you. Right. You can yeah. give them my contact and then tell them, let them know they don't come near you. Right. So, you know, verbal conversation is, is not powerful if the energy is not there. No meaning. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So that. So I, I like uh, for people to learn to use silence and body language before sound. So that way you have three tools. Your silence, mm -hmm. your body language, and your sound out the sound. Mm -hmm. So if you need to do sound, just energy, body language, sound. Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful. That's connection. Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stop her. There you go. There you go. So imagine repetitions of that. She knows when you are in the, st in the state of mind, you don't want her to follow you. She knows she's going to pick up on that vibration. Right. And she's, ah, she doesn't want me to follow. So she's going to pick up on how you feel. You don't even have to say, shh, right. or this. It's all energy. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Ask for space. Shh. So here you need to take a little bit more time here, look. So once you come here, they're here, hey, come in. Then you have to see her moving away. Oh, okay. So right now you just went in, she just followed you. Mm. So she never settled down. Mm -hmm. She didn't jump, I get it, but right. she stayed excited. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't have to completely ignore her. I can acknowledge that she's there, but let her Yeah. Go. Right. So the reason why I say no touch, no talk, no eye contact is because you have developed the opposite. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just, by me changing this way, it forces you to do this more. Right. Okay, let me communicate with my presence. Let me communicate with my, let me make my energy bigger. Let me declare what I want. I want calmness. I want respect. So you're visualizing this. So now you are speaking as if you speak to the universe. Right? So everybody wants to visualize, want to be famous. I want this. So you have to see it before you actually go get it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's what you're doing. So you open the door. I thought you know, thought, shh, shh. Just give a little space. And then you move in. Mm -hmm. okay. Just asking her just to come and greet you, right. but gentle. Because when a, when a hu little human comes through the door, she has to be able to come in, smell the human, give it space, so the little human can actually walk. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she can push him. Right. Okay. Let's do it again. All right. Going out, claim. There you go. So the going out, you got a much better control. So when you come in, ask for the same thing. Okay. There. Yes. <laughs> and then you come in. You see it? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Same thing. Right. Same thing. Same Talk thing. That That's right. And that makes you happy. So she's going to know, oh, if I'm calm and pay attention to my mom, that makes her happy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that all the time. Yeah. I agree. So far? That was really good. I needed that. Right? <laughs> tell me the feeling. The, uh, the, tell me the feeling. Where does it feel to practice this way of being? It definitely makes me feel good that she's going to be a more obedient dog. That's and right. it's not, um, I guess it was just my mind getting in the way of thinking that, like, she feels um, like disowned for a little bit or, like, I don't know, I guess just sad when we don't greet her. Like, that's me putting my, right, right, right. you know, expectations on right. her. So. Right, but that's, that's the ability of the mind, the creativity, but that's not reality, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So somebody have to come and give you like, okay, that's, that's a story. Let me show you reality. Mm -hmm. and, and now it's like you fall in love with the reality. Right. So obedient or well-behaved, that means you're connected. Mm -hmm. So if you can connect, then you can communicate. Now you have a relationship. Right. Connection, communication, relationship. What kind of relationship? Trust, respect, love. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants that. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yeah. So right now, the way you had it, it's is, is really hard to trust her around kids because she jumps. Mm -hmm. You see? And then, oof, I love her, but I don't trust her around kids. Mm -hmm. And then the respect, she's not respecting your space. I love her, but she's not respecting my space. So then trust and respect, the most important ingredients of a relationship is not fully there. So the only one that is at 100% is love, but you need to have all of them at 100% mm -hmm. to guarantee that a powerful breed can be around society. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And most importantly, thank you for helping me to achieve better humans, better planet.